Hello and welcome to UFC 4 patch 12.0, two new characters and some patch notes. Um, first of all, Lee J. Lang is in, he's in the welterweight division, he's literally just come off a loss to Neil Magny, which is very interesting, and Sadiq Youssef, featherweight uh, contender, he's just lost to Arnold Allen, I believe it was. Both four stars, obviously they always do the same, and both with the similar uh, attributes. Before you get into the video, hit that like and subscribe, or that helps me out. Sadiq Youssef, first of all, four stars, he's got three and a half star grappling. Striking is four and a half, and health is four and a half. Let's look at his perks. Fast hands, predator, pay to miss into your feet. This gives you all indication that he needs to be using his hooks and uppercuts. He needs to be going forward, and he needs to be making his opponent miss. If he gets put on his back, he's going to be easy to get up. He's got 92 punch speed, 94 punch power, which is great. Accuracy, 91, which is not bad. Blocking, 90. Head movement, 90. Footwork, 92. Switch stance, 85. Takedown defense, 91. Kick power, 93. Kick speed, 91. That's not bad at all. Great, good stand up. That's a good start. Takedown defense. Takedowns, first of all, 84. Top control 87, bottom control 86, submissions 86, submission defense 90, ground striking 90, clinch striking 90, and clinch control 88. That is not great. It's not what you want to see in the grappling department if you are fighting with him. Still, if you're going to be a striker, you're going to kind of use him, but you don't want to be using him against good grapplers because they're going to take you down and they're going to hold you there, especially with that. Especially with just some of the attributes. And then you've got 92 cardio, 91 chin, 92 body, 92 legs. Recovery is 93, which is not bad. That's pretty decent for the health stats, right? The four star hooks, legs are four, leg kick four, uh, calf kick four. Boxer combinations are four stars. And yeah, overhand four stars as well. Hmm, it's not the best, it's not the greatest, but. I actually went into the training menu and had a look at all of his attributes and to be honest they were very lazy with him, they were very very lazy with Sadiq Yusuf, there was three stars throughout all the clinch, there was two stars, basically it looked like they just made a generic character and just went oh, I don't know about that one, I just put everything three stars, um, I had a little play with him as well, I'm going to show you quick, some. this is the start of a fight, um, he's got some nice quick combinations, boxing is very very nice, but yeah. Interesting character. Then we got Lee J. Ling. Same attributes, exactly the same attributes as um, Sadiq Youssef. He looks quite nice. Like he's, he's got big long arms. The leech he's called. Fast hands. Predator. Carved in wood. And recharge. Now recharge is an interesting one because it means he recovers more between. He recovers more health between rounds. Um, incoming damage is less effective when you have less health than your opponent. Faster movement when advancing, move, uh, moving or sideways. We're moving advancing on moving side. So you want to be pressuring with this guy. He's got 93 punch speed, 94 punch power, accuracy is 89, blocking's 92, head movement 91, footwork 89, switch stats 80, takedown defense 88, kick power is 92, and kick speed is 19. That is decent stand up, but mainly in the punching department. Now the takedowns are 87, the top control is 89, the bottom control is 88, submissions are 89, submission defense is 90, ground strike is 91, clinch strike is 88, and clinch control 88. Pretty standard in the grappling department, not the best at all. So now, I don't even really know where to begin with that one, but cardio 90, chin 94, Body is 90, legs is 90, recovery is 92. The chin, pretty decent, everything else standard. All above 90, which is what you want to see. There's no way he really, he really suffers there. The hooks are forced out, which is amazing. He's got guillotines are forced out, overhand forced out, lead hooks. The hooks there are going to be incredible, and that's something you can work with with fighters. Rob Font's similar, he has a 5 star hook as well, so he's a really usable character. Like I said, he's called the leech. I didn't realize he was 33. Um, he's got a 180 centimeter reach, which is pretty decent. They actually had some crazy information about him, like I had some information I learned as he was walking out, which was pretty cool. I like like when they do stuff like that. So he's the former Legend FC Worldweight Champion. His background is Sandra, and lost six fights his career. I don't know why they put the lost part. Usually they're supposed to highlight something, <laughs> which is pretty funny. He's got some cool animations as well. He's an animated character, right? He beat Ponza Nebo, that was his biggest upset so far in his career, but we don't know whether that was a a rusty Ponza Nebo. His movement's quite interesting, it reminds me of uh, a Yo Romero type of movement. Big long arms though, decent boxing. you got to watch out for that hook. The hook's the interesting one. But yeah, I don't see like this guy is going to be a very usable character in that division just because of the amount you've got. The update 12.0 uh, 12 has arrived for UFC 4 and it's here with a full list of fixes added with this patch. 
see the two new characters right there as well. Lee Jae Ling and Sidiq Youssef are now the newest additions in UFC 4 and the highlights of update 12. Unfortunately though for those that were anticipating an updated model of Charles Oliveira we have bad news. The team didn't have it proceed with any changes and we have to deal with the current version until further notice. That said the two new fighters will have to scratch an itch of the new content alongside some minor improvements to the gameplay and a slight change down to the double leg takedowns. Now we're going to get into that but yeah, they haven't done a lot with this update now. Patch notes were hard to come by, literally horribly hard to come by. So I've been waiting for six hours for these patch notes, as you're going to see in a second, because I'm going to show you guys. But eventually, I found some websites that had some information, and that's kind of what we're going off. You see, update 12.0 patch notes. The official patch notes list is not unveiled yet. However, based on UFC's official Discord, we have some insight as to what the team's been working on and what kind of gameplay changes will be implemented. The target update on the collar tie attempt added a stamina advantage requirement in order to cancel the double leg takedown in certain clinch positions. This way the double leg cancel will function similarly to the single leg cancel which was one tweak not long ago. Now they did tweak it, the single leg cancel, but I did it 40 times with Andre Bishop and I was absolutely fine with my stamina. My stamina was like halfway. 40 times with the boxer was very interesting. So I don't know how this is kind of contributed or implemented. This is the update that you see on the PlayStation of the notes. So double leg build to over uh, now over under now requires a stamina advantage to execute. Clinch entries now spend more stamina and can suffer miss evasion taxes. Refine call tie grab and animation to improve consistency and mitigate the impression of our vacuum effect. Fixed an issue with Adesanya's mouth geometry. I don't know what they mean by um, refine call tie grab and animation to improve consistency and mitigate an impression of vacuum effect. Unless they mean just pull in like like suck in type of stuff like a vacuum I don't know doesn't really doesn't really explain much in that but yeah the double leg bail I don't know we'll have to test it out it's going to take us a while before we see any um, major improvements in that as you can see by there no patch notes and it's been six hours six hours no patch notes I've been had this video done two hours ago apart from the voiceover I've been waiting to drop it but UFC is not helping any content creators out really so it's the way it is no Charles Oliveira with blonde hair. Now I don't want to be negative, but he had blonde hair since March 2020. So it's just laziness, I believe. No Islam Makachev. This guy we've wanted in since the start of UFC 4. There's a lot. He des deserves it over the likes of um, um, what's his name, Chamayev, and other people like that. No Marlon Vieira. He's fighting soon. These all these guys are fighting soon, by the way. Makachev's fighting in July. Uh, Various fighting, I believe, the Connors card. Marib, I can never say his second name. Davilishi, Lili, Lili, Lili. <laughs> but what a character he is, and he's still not in the game. I believe he's in the top 10 as well. From Georgia, I believe it was. No, Bryce Mitchell, another character that's not in the game. Like, just an absolute. He's just. These are the characters that people follow, and people want to play as, and they want to, you know, try in the video game. And still, no chance, no Giga, Giga Chicka Daisy. Former kickboxer, doing really well, ranked number nine. Apparently, he's got a big fight soon, and he's not in the game yet. Now, the real robbery comes here because Derek Lewis is still not in the top fighters. He's ranked number two in real life. He's fighting Engarni for the love of God, as I've said in there. You got Daniel Cormier, number two. He's not. He's retired. You got John Jones, never fought a heavyweight. You got Miocic, which is fine. So again, which is fine. Overeem has now left, and he's gone to glory. Velasquez went to WWE, hasn't fought in a long time, and he's retired. And um, Curtis Blades got knocked out by Derek Lewis. Isaac Frost isn't a real fighter. Gustafsson got choked out by Word Doom. Anthony Johnson is in Bellator. Brock Lesnar is in WWE and retired from UFC. Nogueira is retired. Word Doom is in PFL, and Andre Bishop is also not a real fighter. And you have Derek Lewis, who is a real fighter who's still not in this. Now, I don't understand this. This is one of the things that I just, no one's kind of picked up on. I feel like I've got to start a petition for this because this is a travesty. His balls are hot. Get him in the top 15 for, for please, just for my sake. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you want to follow me, you can watch me on uh, Twitch. You can come and support me. Um, I do a Stupid Monkeys talk show on uh, Wednesday, which is all about UFC, UFC 4 community, and just UFC in general. I also stream and stream UFC 4 content, and hopefully this type of content you like, because I do the same thing. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe as always, and I appreciate you for coming by. Bye!